Hi there. In this clip, we are going to review the SQL to select information from multiple tables through joining those tables together in further detail. And we are going to talk about some additional mechanisms for affecting a join. So first, let's set the stage. I am in the employees database, the da sample database used in the SQL tutorials. I have just described the employee table. Its attributes are here and described the title table. And this is information related to an employee's official title. And so we can see that there is a common attribute between these two tables. Employee number is the primary key of the employee table and it is part of the primary key of the title table. It is also, I'm here to tell you, although it's not indicated here in the describe metadata, a foreign key in that it relates back to the primary key of the employee table. Okay, so that's the stage. And so basically what we want to do is to identify the titles that a given employee has had. And we know that employee's first name and last name. So we are going to select title from the title table where the title information is native. But we also need information from the employee table. And the reason we need information from the employee table is we just said we want to determine the title or titles of a particular employee. And that employee in this, in this example is going to be Randy Sire. So we need title because that's the information we want. We need employee because that table contains the condition under which we want the title. Okay, so we don't want everybody's, however, we have some conditions. So we put in our where, and our where conditions are several fold. First of all, we want Randy Sire. So we need to specify where first name is equal to Randy, and last name is equal to sire spelled C-Y-R-E. Okay, so those are the conditions that are specified in the query itself. We said we wanted Randy Sire's title history, but that alone is not enough, is it? Because we need the condition that makes joining the information from title and employee meaningful. So we also need to specify and employee number, oh, I'm sorry, uh, employee dot employee number is equal to title dot employee number. That is the condition that makes the information between employee and title meaningfully joined together. That is what prevents us from getting a bunch of nonsense Cartesian products like we saw in the previous join video. This is the condition that will give us legitimate Randy Sire data as opposed to indiscriminate data from all over the place. So let's let her rip and see what happens. Okay, and we find that Randy Sire has performed the titles of assistant engineer and engineer. Okay. That is the way to join information that makes most explicit the reason we need join conditions in the first place. However, it is not the only way or even the most orthodox way. So let's look at the other option. Okay, so here's a more, let's say, orthodox or traditional MySQL way of specifying a join. And perhaps unsurprisingly, it involves using the SQL reserve word join. So we're going to select title because that is the attribute we are interested in, nothing changed there, from 
title, which is not only the attribute, but also the name of the table that contains the title information, join employee. So we're specifically saying we need to join these two tables together, the title table and the employee table. And we are going to specify the condition on which we join. So we say on, and then in parentheses, employees, employee number, being equal to title employee number. So very similar to our last example, but we're making the fact that this is a join condition explicit. And this can, under certain circumstances, lead to improved performance in your query. It's not going to give you different results, but it may invoke different optimization mechanisms that give you better performance. We still can't lose fact, lose sight of the fact though, we don't want everybody's title. We want Randy Sire. So we also have to continue to add our additional where condition. So we're saying where first name is equal to Randy and last name is equal to Sire. And we already know we should be getting assistant engineer and engineer. And lo and behold, we do, in fact. Now, one additional mechanism that takes advantage of the fact that we are joining a primary key in employee and a foreign key in title that have exactly the same attribute name. So this final example only works when you are joining exactly the same attribute name. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we're still selecting title the attribute and it still needs to come from title the table and we're still joining title to employee but slightly slight variation in our syntax we are now saying using and what we are using is the employee number attribute and so we're specifying join this attribute from both tables now it's perfectly okay and it might even be in some circumstances it is good practice to make the primary key foreign key attribute set have two different names in two different tables however in this case they are not they are named exactly the same so we can use this shorter syntax so if we stopped here we would have the information from title and employee joined meaningfully together and we would get basically a list of all the titles in the database that's not what we're looking for, so we continue, same as before, to also add an additional where condition, specifying that the first name is equal to Randy, and the last name is equal to Sire, and we get exactly the same result as we did for the first two times. This is just an example of using three different syntaxes to obtain your natural join. And natural join, left join, uh, we haven't delved into that terminology just yet. So suffice it to say, join that assures that the information is meaningful and accurate and not nonsense. And that is certainly an important part of the game. Hope that's helpful. Uh, I know having multiple options can be confusing, but you're likely to see these in use. Uh, it, one may be preferable for you personally uh, over another. Uh, so I wanted to make sure you were aware of some additional options when it comes to affecting a join. Study hard, and I will see you online.